It's summertime and I'm putting in long days of guiding. And a question that's posed here on Flats Class YouTube all the time, I always see it down below in comments, is can you do anything to tell us how to take care of our fishing tackle, um, especially our rods and our reels? It's just, I know you do it every day, and how do you make your stuff really, well, perform over a long period of time? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, many of you will, will, you know, maybe fish once or twice a month, but I'm fishing every day, like every day. So I don't do a drill down deep cleaning on my rods and reels, except for once a year. But to keep them in shape, especially the charter stuff, there are a few steps that I take every day to ensure that the stuff will perform properly. And uh, I'm going to go up here to the boat because I'm rinsing tackle right now to show you what we're doing and see what you think. I mean, because I think this will work for you. I really do. And hey, by the way, welcome to Flats Class YouTube channel. This is where you learn everything about inshore fishing. Let's go. Okay, naturally, if you're working what I like to call can to can't every day, especially if it's a busy season time of the year for a fishing guide, you know, we're leaving in the dark. And oftentimes we don't get back until late in the day. And then we only have a short period of time to wash the boat, wash the gear, and then basically get things together for the following day. Our day does not start and stop at the boat ramp. There's a lot of stuff that goes on. So for me to take a lot of detailed time to keep equipment in good shape, it's tough. So I have found a little system and I'll tell you a little story. I have a, a client that fishes with some of his own gear and I noticed that his Stratix were those older Stratix, the ones with the wooden handles and the white body. You guys remember those? They're pretty old. And I was like, what do you do to keep those things alive as much as you fish? Because he's retired now. And he goes, almost absolutely nothing. I go, really? He goes, almost. I'm going to explain that in a minute. First thing I want to show you, though, is how you're going to wash the rod down. Because when I get you know, ready to, to wash a rod down, the first thing I'm going to do is cut the tackle off. I like to usually drop them in a bucket of water so that they start loosening up all the salt off the split rings and everything else. So I'll drop the lures in a bucket, but that's another YouTube video. Right now I wanna show you how I do the rod. And I'm gonna carry you over here to this wash station, show you how we get that done. So let me cut this, this off, reel everything up, and we'll start cleaning things down. Okay, the top water plug is soaking in the bucket. Now what I want to do is I want to rinse this rod off. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to hold the reel higher than the rod because I really don't want to spray the reel. The, the mistake most of us make is we're driving water into this reel and we're pushing salt deeper into the reel. For saltwater anglers, that's a big problem. That's where most of your problems start and that's why when I ask my client, Steve, what he does to take care of his, he goes, almost nothing. Because he pays a lot of attention with the sprayer on this rod and not as much on this reel. This reel, I'm gonna show you how to wipe down next. But right now, let's just spray the rod. And to do that, one at a time, I spray the rod individually, every guide, making sure I get all the salt off the foot of the guide. So I'm gonna come down here, turn the mister on, and I'm going to sit here and I'm going to mist the foot of all the guides, the ring, everything. That's usually where the corrosion begins. You get that rust right around the, the foot of the guide. So I'll spend a lot of attention on those guides 
all the way to the tip top, rinsing them for a few minutes. I want to take time to do this. Up again. And then my blank. Get everything wet. Then I'm going to wet. I'm going to wet up my, my rag here just a little bit on one side. Turn this off. And I'm going to wipe everything down. I want to wipe it all down. Get all the salt spots, all the, the, the hard water spots, everything off this. Dry it real good. Make sure there's no scales on the, on the real seat, obviously. Any slime and scales if you're a live bait guy on the actual. Now, when I do a real deep cleaning, I'll sand these and rub these down and seal them again. But we're talking about everyday stuff. I don't got time for that. So you've seen me rinse everything down. Now, the next step is to take this damp rag because I've wiped everything down, is to wipe this reel down really good to try to get all the salt off the handle, fish slime, stuff off the top of everything, wipe the bale down, the roller bearing, get all the obvious stuff off this little Noski reel. And that, because this is a damp cloth, so I'm getting all that off. And this is what Steve told me he does to his. Let's get it all off. Now, if this was my personal gear that I was using all the time, I'd literally take my spool off as well and rinse that braid off. But this is charter gear. I need to make sure it's in working order and kept well, but I'm not gonna do that right now. The next step, I'm gonna bring you over here to the boat. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next to ensure that all this stuff stays corrosion resistant. Come with me. So I don't want to discount the fact that you do have to put that terminal tackle in a bucket of water. That might be your hooks, your swivels, because swivels will pick up sand and salt too. Everything that was tied at the end of this rod needs to be put back. That's why I said it takes, there's a lot more invested time-wise for a fishing guide than there is for the average person. Because now I'm gonna to have to pull this line back out and then retie all that terminal tackle on. But I'll take it out of the bucket. And I actually set mine over here on this, this little table, or I call it a table, it's the lid of the garbage can. And I let it air dry while I'm doing all this other stuff. That's air drying. That way I can restring four to six rods and tie the tackle back on for the next day and know that the, the hooks aren't gonna rust, the split rings aren't gonna look like crap, and the swivels are gonna spin on those spoons. But back to the reel. So we, we rinsed the rod down, we wiped it down, we rinsed every one of these guides, we eliminated all those zones where you're gonna get that nasty rust around the foot of the guide, that's typically where you see it. Um, wiped the handle and reel seat down, uh, and, and Shimano makes really nice stuff, so this stuff holds up well if you take care of it. The trick is this veteran-owned company. I have nothing to do with them. Um, they're called Cleanse Oil, okay? I became a fan of this brand because I use them for my tools, I use them for my knives, I use them for my guns. Um, they're an excellent brand. Uh, my father-in-law is the one who kind of turned me on to them. And then I met these guys over at a boat show one time and they gave me a can to play around with. But now I go down to sodiumusa.com right down the road here and I buy these little cleaning kits for some deeper cleans. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll take another microfiber that's not wet and I'll spray a little bit of this into the rag. So I've got the cleanse oil on the rag, just like I would do if I was wiping down a knife or something like that. And now I will wipe down my reel with that cleanse oil everywhere. Uh, it's just a corrosion inhibitor. It's a lubricant and it definitely keeps these reels in fantastic shape. Now, if I really wanted to give it a deep clean, I'd pull everything apart and I would shoot all that stuff in there and once a year I do that. But we're just talking about day-to-day -day maintenance. Remember, I haven't shot any water to drive anything in it. All, all the salt is on the outside of this. So I wiped it down with water and now I'm putting the corrosion inhibitor all over it again. 
and it will be great for tomorrow's trip. You know, I want to get it down in these arms and all that stuff. And unless you do some really crazy stuff where you took a lot of water on board and you submerged your reel, just this little bit of maintenance between the cleanse oil, wiping it down and stuff will work awesome. It really will. It'll keep this reel, it'll take all the spots off it. And lots of times I'll have clients actually compliment me. They're like, how old is this? And I was like, well, we've been using it for about a year on the boat. And they'll go, really? It looks so good. It looks good because we're taking care of it. We also have aqua traction where it doesn't get scratched up too much. But if you're looking for a way to maintain your equipment, I mean, and you care about it and you want it to last, if you just do something like this every time you go fishing, and then maybe once a year if you're the average Joe, do a more thorough, deep cleaning if you want to send your reels in or whatever, do a good job. And these things will last forever. Shimano has created an awful lot of barriers to keep the salt out of this reel. The only way you get it in would be to drop the thing underwater for a length of time or take your hose and drive all that salt in past those barriers. Don't do that. Just wipe it down. You just wipe it down and use some of these products I'm telling you about. All I got to do now, string this back up, tie the top water on. We're ready to go fishing tomorrow. That's it. If you like some of these tutorials that we're doing here at Flats Class YouTube and you're learning stuff, it's, it's making you a more well-rounded inshore angler. Give us some love. Hit that subscription button please give us that thumbs up and even hit that notification button. You don't want to miss these kind of tips. They're very helpful to you. And listen, we have them coming every day now. And once I get to 50,000 subs, we're going to hire a full-time camera guy. And when we do that, we're going to be able to take you to places you wouldn't believe. All right. Time to clean another rod.